Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about a new law that has just passed in Albania, which will make life easier for expats in the country and also created new classes of residence permits for retirees and also for digital nomads. In this video, we're going to cover the following topics. The new immigration law that Albania just passed last week, the benefits that it brings, such as creating an easier process to acquire a residence permit in the country, and also the two new classes of residence permits in Albania, one aimed at retirees and the other available for digital nomads or freelancers. Before we start with the actual content, I have to say this like always, excuse me, but I really have to do so. Which is, if you want to travel, move or invest abroad, hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation call with me, it'll be a pleasure for me to help you moving to a new country, and most importantly, subscribe! Let's start! So the new immigration law in Albania, which has passed last week, brings different opportunities for foreigners willing to stay in the country. The draft for this law has been around since the beginning of the year and will greatly facilitate the life of foreigners willing to stay in Albania long term. I'm talking here about people that are willing to live in Albania, get them permanent residency and maybe in the future get Albanian citizenship. Among the key points of the law, it will drastically facilitate the application process of residence permits in the country. But that's not the best part of it. The best part of this new law is that it opens new categories of residence permits in Albania that before were non-existent. So before, if you wanted to retire in Albania, it would be quite complicated because you'd have to open a company and then hire yourself and maybe buy some real estate in this company to have some activity and then you could actually live in Albania. Now you don't have to do any of these, you can just come and retire in Albania. Let's talk firstly about the new residence permit category for retirees in Albania. The financial requirements are pretty low if you want to retire in Albania according to this new law. If your pension amounts to 9,800 euros per year, you are good to go. It is still unclear whether only retirement pensions will count towards that, so I cannot say at this point if rental income or dividend income or any other type of passive income would be sufficient for this specific type of residence permit. You will still have to meet other basic requirements that are needed for any residence permit, so the usual stuff proof of a place to stay, it might be a lease contract or if you have bought property in Albania, title of deeds, health insurance, clear criminal record and so on. But the main requirement is to have an income of 9,800 euros per year as your pension, as your retirement. Then the second new category of residence permit in Albania coming with this new law is a residence permit for digital nomads. Previously, if you work remotely and you wanted to live in Albania, you'd have to open a company and hire yourself, rendering you able to get a residence permit based on the work in your own company in Albania. Now the process seems simplified, but you'll still need to prove that there is money coming your way with contracts, for example, if you have a company or clients abroad, even if you have just one employer, or if you are a freelancer and you have several contracts, apparently all these possibilities are acceptable for this type of residence permit in Albania. As a digital nomad, you have to receive your payments into an Albanian account, which might not be the most straightforward process. If you receive your money through PayPal or WISE, it is probably much easier to get the money as opposed to send it to an Albanian account, for example. But things are improving in Albania. For example, Paysera, company processing payments from Lithuania, is expanding to a few countries in the Balkans, including Albania. But that's the most tricky part of becoming a digital nomad in Albania and getting a residence permit, because you will have to receive the money into an Albanian account. Then I'll just go through some key points to be considered here if you want to move to Albania. Albania is reducing its bureaucracy and becoming increasingly more friendly towards foreigners with income sources from abroad, going in the opposite direction of many Western countries, which oftentimes make the life of freelance workers quite complicated with a lot of bureaucracy and high taxes. If you are a US citizen, you can already come to Albania and stay up to one year without any bureaucracy of any sort. This is an old law, it's not part of this new law, but it's a good opportunity because if you are unsure whether you like Albania or not, you can then come to Albania, check the situation and consider whether you want to make Albania your base. If you are from the European Union and many other countries in Europe, 
East Asia and Latin America, you can stay up to 90 days in Albania without a visa. Albania is rapidly developing and becoming westernized, but only in the good sense. You can find great entertainment, cafes, restaurants, banks and roads, infrastructure. Albania is also extremely safe. The nature is amazing. The beaches of Albania are some of the most amazing that I have seen in my life. So Albania definitely an opportunity you should consider, even if just for a short holiday or now with this no relaxed laws, you may want to consider Albania as your new base. And finally, if you live in Albania for five years, you can get permanent residency in Albania, which is quite valuable in my opinion. It is also important to say that Albania has one of the best locations in Europe. You have direct flights to many cities in Europe, such as Frankfurt, Istanbul, Paris, cities in Italy, and you can also drive to Greece, to Croatia, to Montenegro, to Macedonia, Northern Macedonia, sorry. So Albania, I think the future is very bright if you want to be a remote worker or retire in Albania. That's it for today's video. If you want to travel, move or invest abroad, hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation call with me, let's plan together your immigration plan, and most importantly, subscribe! See you next time!